This is our Divine Light Healing Circle on the 27th of April in 2022. Today we are going to um, counteract some dangers in regard of radiation and radiation poisoning. I call in now the divine guidance through the crystalline light of white sparkling diamond light and clear shimmering rainbow white light and amber sparkling translucent light coming from the universal oneness and flowing into the tops of our heads, into every single cell of our brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, neck. Divine sparkling light flows into our shoulders, arms, hands, and out of our fingertips along our spine and muscle structure, into our heart and chest opening both wide, into our solar plexus to make it more radiant, into our whole digestive system, hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots. Old, old non-supportive beliefs can be swept away into Mother Earth for recycling, we're just a glistening frequency of white, silver, diamond light, translucent white, rainbow sparkling light, and orangey translucent sparkling light prevails. And we let those flow into Mother Earth's hardcore crystals to give her support as well. And as a thank you, Mother Earth brings in beautiful green Earth magic light, which comes through our feet all the way up to our solar plexus and all the way up to our heart and all the way up to our third eye center and all the way up to our crown chakra and flows out of our crown like a fountain into our energy field, our aura. It flows around our aura while through the heart center and heart chakra, the white silver light, the diamond light and the sparkling lights of the orange and diamond light prevail. And the green will bring growth in our thoughts and power of our projections and bring a little earth magic to the focus here today. This is part of co-creation not destruction, as we are working against the destructive forces of radiation and radiation poisoning. As we are now focused with our third eye center and our heart, the white silver sparkling light, which is highly detoxifying, and the white translucent shimmering opalescent rainbow light and the orange translucent sparkling light with three major light beams into the core of Chernobyl. Transmuting and transforming the chemical reactions which could be dangerous for anything and everything on this planet. Every atomic chain reaction is now transforming in a vibration of love and light as destructive, harsh radiation frequency is now mellowed out in its chain reaction into a more soothing and calming frequency. For that purpose, we are bringing in the universal oneness, deep, deep blue, a deep blue of the deepest galaxies 
with the soothing calmness, we are anchoring it on our planet Earth through our body, bringing in this dark blue, coming in with universal oneness and wisdom of the universe and of the galaxies. An influx of star wisdom comes with it as sparkling star information flows through our body together with the darkest and deepest blue flowing through the crown into our every cell of our brain, balancing out what we know and upgrading what we will know in the days to come. As it flows further from the brain into our eyes, making us seeing more clearly, not only the future, but also with wisdom, seeing through like X-ray vision and seeing clearly of what is real, that this existence is artificial and can be manipulated, not to destruction, but also to co-creation. As the darkest blue with the starry sparkling light flows into our nose and mouth speaking truth, into our throat speaking truth as well, helping us to speak clearly, naturally with power of truth. Flowing further into the shoulders, that not only on our shoulders, the burden of healing and supporting and transforming is burdened, but that all star beings are helping out here, helping to uplift us as we are anchoring the energies on this planet, but at the same time being uplifted, part out of our body while we have the feet firmly on the ground. Blue, silver sparkling light and blue gold sparkling light flows deep through our being from the shoulders, arms, hands and our fingertips and our palms through our palms it flows where we send it to. And when we can feel it sizzling in our palms, we know that deepest calms of healing and wisdom of healing from light beings of all galaxies is imbued in this light. As this light flows further into our heart and chest to making our hearts calm, and our minds calm, knowing that there is influence in heart-centeredness. As we are sending this blue sparkling light now from the heart, again also into Chernobyl area, into the core of the chain reactions, but also around engulfing the Chernobyl area of reactor and surrounding areas with a bubble of dark, dark, dark blue condensing, calming light together with light codes of the higher regions sparkling with galaxy information to counteract radiation as many Planetary systems have faced these dangers before and now are willing to assist to counteract the aftermath of such reactions and chain reactions. But as we're anchoring it further in our body too, while it flows continuously into the Chernobyl region, it flows also into our solar plexus bringing us a connection to other star beings and light beings, making us strong in vibration and grounding us not only to mother earth, but grounding us also into the atmospheric wisdom of far distant galaxies. As a dark, dark, deepest blue of the universe, and the sparkling light of silver and gold together with it flow further into our whole digestive system, hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through our feet, deeply anchored 
like roots into Mother Earth and also into Mother Earth's core. She keeps this anchor so that we are able to be like an elevator operating on many different levels, not just a ground-based level here on Mother Earth, but also on higher dimensional levels at the same time. Our multidimensional thinking and awareness is blooming now. Like a lotus flower, we are opening with the petals operating on many different levels. And one level is right now focused on Chernobyl areas and areas like it, wherever has been stored toxic waste of radiation will now also get a dosage of this counteracting frequencies of light. Dark blue, silver and gold sparkling light will encompass all these areas on the planet and encapsulate them easily and naturally. And to have a better focus, I ask now everybody to mute themselves so that we have no background noise. While the continuous focus of the divine light continues to flow towards all areas of radiation poisoning. white silver sparkling detoxifying light transmutes and transforms these atomic sequencings into other wavelengths of love and kindness. Everything is swimming atoms and subatoms and smaller quarks and such. And all these swinging particles can be rearranged. And even though we might not have the knowledge in our conscious mind to rearrange, we are now connecting consciously to the beings who can. We are calling now in all those beings who can counteract atomic poisoning. radiation poisoning and all those who have the ill intent of using such weapon against humankind for their own gain of willingness of destruction because they are in the brink of being destructed on this planet. All light beings and guiding ones who want to be of service for this transformation from aggression and destruction to embrace and love and kindness and help us bridge the atomic and subatomic structures from radiation poisoning to a healing frequency are heartily invited to join us right now. As they are already here, so please everybody ground themselves, feet firmly on the ground, as there will be an acceleration of frequency happening right now. In case you feel blockages in your own body, ask these light beings to also gently remove those blockages and bring your organs or blood flow or frequency level on the emotional or mental body into coherent harmony and equiostasis equilibrium, balance, healing. 
so that all blockages in your body can also be removed as well. And as everything in our own physical body gets a fixing to a higher level, these beings continue to work on all atomic leaking vessels, leaking tonnage, leaking containers, And while they're doing their transformation around these zones, Mother Earth's green healing light will take action to reaffirm life in those spots. Reaffirming life to make things grow, to make things adapt, to help the plant life be part of the equation of transformation. Like plant life in Chernobyl adapted to this radiation through mutation, but also still living and thriving. So will the green light frequency help beings of all order to live and thrive? And now I see the deep, dark, sparkling blue of the universal cosmic awareness. Take hold of all the minds of people with ill intent for this planet through greed or lust of power or just destructive thoughts or dark infiltrations Their darkness is transformed to dark blue and the sparkles transform people's minds and hearts to more awareness. And like little nanites, little light worms, they eat up the darkness of the soul, which the soul had been tainted with to make it clean and sparkling again and be susceptible to the light codes given at this particular moment in time to all individuals with ill intent to remember and be reminded of who they really are and that they have no right to kill this planet, that they have no right to bring this beautiful planet with all these myriad species in jeopardy. And so these little nanites, these little golden particle beings, like little robotics who eat up negativity with God's intent of balance, populating the earth and swarming out of the dark blue stream, like little fireflies seeking out and gobbling up that which has ill intent. I am told that this activation of what we are part of will be visible in three days. It will take about three days till the first visible effects will be astounding people on this planet. Radiation poisoning will go down. The next step for us is to focus on the living waters on this planet to also be balanced out from radiation poisoning, especially through Fukushima and also through the groundwaters at around Chernobyl and other such atomic bomb and blasting sites from atolls 
in the seas, little islands which you were used for target practice and still show radiations. So the living waters of this planet are joined with, with an enlivening and living white sparkling light full with the golden nanites gobbling up all that which was toxic to the waters and burning it up, transmuting and transforming various toxins into radiant bliss of divine oneness. As our planet goes to a higher level of awareness and humanoids awakening right and left, so does this planet and all which is on it, whether it's plant life, animal life, or minuit life, minuscule life, microbial life, all life in its smallest forms, up down to the atomic structures is in the process of being transformed by these major radiance of white silver sparkling light, white translucent rainbow shimmering light and the orangey opalescent sparkling light. These are the major active wavelengths frequencies of transformation at this moment. The green though will open the hearts and minds of people on this planet to a new path, a new way, a new space in time and space. And the dark, dark blue with its sparkles of gold and silver was all the cosmic knowledge and galactic knowledge will spread new awareness levels. While this planet is doing its splits between the positive and the negative. As we individuals here in the circle stand for oneness, that one divine light, which is now coming down in overwhelming frequency wavelengths you might feel a overwhelming tingling sensations. Do not fear it. You might feel that you are expanding tremendously. Do not fear it. Love and light shining bright in our bodies and on our sides. Love and light shining bright in our bodies and our, on our side. Love and light shining bright in our bodies and on our side. As our own individual homes become sanctuaries at this moment in time. In case you feel overwhelming heat, do not be alarmed. It is the frequency elevation of what your body goes through. As you're anchoring the high divine light. And as the universal oneness is still seeking out radiation poisoning leakage from old or new or future intent as time and space does not really exist. All atomic misconduct can be dismantled before it even started in this moment in time and space. As we are sending out this workings of what we are doing, not only into the past, but also into the future. 
we becoming the fountain of these sparkling light streams and lighter beams, including the dark blue one with its nanite gobbling up that which is toxic to our planet. And transmuting and transforming anything and everything which could harm this planet to the core. This planet is not supposed to be coming again a glass desert. This planet is supposed to strive as a green blue planet with lots of plant life, oceans, animal life, and richness as many universe has not seen. And the guardians of this planetary system will support each and every one of you and every single thought and every single prayer for our Mother Earth's well being and for the well being on all living beings on this planet. as we are continuously being the fountain of protection and protective energies. We are now calling in all the beings on our list into the circle of healing, into the light fountain. As every single individual on the list gets their individual healing through the divine powers that be. All those beings have been asked before they were put on the list, whether they were giving their permission for healing and all of them said yes. So now the heavenly Rearms open up to these beings being healed individually with the frequency they need. All the ones with cancer on the list, grieving, disease after vaccinations, Alzheimer's, cancers, multiple sclerosis, Many different disease becomes and turns into ease and grace. Grief can melt away into an understanding that we are all interconnected forever and today. Light connects all there is and separation is an illusion. As we are now boosting each and every one of us and on our list who suffers from emotional exhaustion, energy fatigue, from being overworked, from giving too much, from being too concerned, being too much in the head instead of the heart and all other sources of fatigue and exhaustion. Type A people are allowed to be a little bit more type B and a little bit more relaxed, taking time for themselves and for the connection with the divine. Meditation becomes an idea to be daily practiced, even if it's in this form, in guided form. Physical disease can be recalibrated and rebalanced and every single one on the list easily and naturally. 
while fears float away like an ice cube melting on a hot summer's day on the asphalt. Melting, becoming a little water puddle and evaporating in the heat. Fears melt away. Any kind of fear of not being good enough or also being overwhelmed. As we acknowledge the divine concept that the divine in us leads us to the right things at the right time so that we can relax. As our intention is clear, healing of this ease, healing of this harmony to make it into harmony and having ease and grace back on this planet earth for all inhabitants involved. So all dictators and power hungry moguls are now imbued with the seeking strength of the divine triggering their soul memories, triggering their heart centers, tickling their heart to be felt strongly so that the love is not a cynical one, but a wholehearted body love of higher vibration that the thought is not of owning and manipulating and gaining power over others, but seen as hollow power of what that would be. And understanding that a strong, strong divine power is the power of love, kindness, compassion, divine connection, and divine light focus. I'm informed that we are now going to a higher dimension even further. So make sure that your feet are firmly on the ground for the next acceleration. As now we are lifted out of our body from the third dimension into the fourth one, fifth one, sixth dimension, seventh. And as every petal of our lotus flower beingness is unfolding even further in its magnificent light, connecting to all that what, what we once were on the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension and reaching even into the seventh dimension and eighth, whoever can do it and beyond, we are reconnecting with the beings we once were. These high vibrational lighter beings we once were and even we reach up to the total oneness concept of source. Connecting our third eye center firmly with the stream and strand of the divine light force. And we absorb as much healing frequency and guiding light as we can absorb, as we are aware of the multitude of strings and strands connecting us to many lifetimes and many existences on many planetary forms and star systems and galaxies and solar systems. a rush of information is downloaded into our existence. 
not only into our Akashic record of the higher self, no, also into our lighter body, our emotional body, our spirit body, our mental body, our physical body. All our bodies getting engulfed with the firing, iridescent, highest vibrational frequencies we can carry in these energy bodies and physical body. And as we're expanding a little bit further, symbols of power of the light appear in our palms and burning themselves into our palms so that we can open the gateways of light every time we need to. That we can open the gateways of healing any time we need to. That we can bring to life back things which had been distorted by destruction, that we can make better which was destroyed on this planet, that we can rebuild destructor things after destruction, that we can reorganize, transmute, and transform from low intention to high intention, from low vibration to high vibration, from distortion to harmony. Everyone has their unique healing symbols in their palms. And I would like you now to put your palms to your heart to embed these healing symbols also into your heart chakra, embedding it into your heart so that your heart becomes the gateway with which you heal by thought and feel combined. And as this symbol of healing, your unique symbol of healing is safely embedded in your heart chakra, I would like you to put it also into your third eye center. Firmly embedding it into the core center of your brain. And after that is done, bring it firmly to your ears and let yourself hear the divine song in the future, the divine current, the divine frequencies of the healing currents, knowing that you are in the stream of divine light healing, being informed before things happen, hearing voices warning in case you need to be warned, hearing voices of consultants of the divine only in case you need consults to guide you the way. You will not left, be left alone as you are not leaving alone this planet to be ransacked by destructive forces. So you will be given gifts of power to counteract dark force power. Co-creation instead of destruction is given to you with a divine focus of what needs to be focused on. Oftentimes in the day, there will be something popping into your mind 
a person who is in distress or an animal who is in distress or a situation which got your attention through the news. And you will feel your hands and heart chakras activated just on its own. And you will know with your third eye center knowledge what exactly you need to do in this moment in time and space to do what's right, to do what the oneness, source, and creator wants. As you become the tool of consequence for divine creation and co-creation. And to give these healing symbols to Mother Earth, I would like you to also envision those healing symbols in your feet chakras, beaming like light focal points or flashlight beams into Mother Earth, but their core symbol stays in your feet, radiating out in Mother Earth. So where you tread, wherever you go, wherever you set your path, wherever you set your feet, you will walk a path of light and grace. Treading lightly on Mother Earth, to do the least damage of what you can do. Knowing the right things to do intrinsically without even having to think about it. Your feet will be divinely guided to the next step in your life's path. Do not worry. There will be a lot of fear mongering in the future, partially to make people on this planet aware, but partially also by fear mongers to keep vibrations low. You will be able to differentiate through the activation of your ears to read between the lines of what is what what is divine and what is low fear mongering. You will have a crystal clear knowledge and vision on everyday paths, which way to go and what to do and what to say and what to listen to, to know. And as these symbols are burning in our hand chakras, heart, third eye and feet, we are asking now other well-meaning beings and entities to join, to giving us gifts of strength for what's to come giving us the certainty to do the right thing at the right time, to create sanctuary of security and divine harmony around us and our lives. And now whatever frequency, which means frequency or frequencies of harmony translated into color, bring that into you. Let yourself being showered by these graceful frequencies of light and healing. And as you're standing in this light vibrational shower, and all your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual and ethereal bodies are cleansed and cleared of distortional energies. You're picking one thing 
you personally would like to change of things you have observed. Maybe it's big things like bombing of hospitals. Maybe it's smaller things of abuse of animals or children. Maybe it's political things which you have observed create injustice. Whatever it is which moves you in your heart right now, send healing and harmony to those situations. And you might feel the frequencies heightening to the extent that your body is sweating and gets hot, 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 and then switches into cool because of your body temperature regulation. As your vibration heightens, And as you vibrate with loving kindness, embracing those in need. You become the caring mother, father, principle of the divine. And you might observe the beings right next to you who help you with your current special task. Now, please tie up the energies regarding the healing theme or areas you were focusing on. Tying them up means looping the energies around these beings or creatures or helpless beings you brought healing or localities which needed healing or support. Let the energies of healing swirl around these locations or people or animals. 
so that the divine on its own without your grounding guidance can continue the healing with your intentional purpose as guidance. As we are going to walk into our future as living light portals, you will feel your hand chakras and feet chakras and third eye centers often be activated to unusual activities. Be mindful to be grounded for that purpose so that you can hold more and more light and let the earth crystals of Mother Earth keep you grounded as well. Working with your crystalline grid of your body to be anchored with the crystalline grid of Mother Earth. You will find in the upcoming time that you will do more out of body travel. Do not be surprised or frightened. You will not be disenfranchised from your physical form. The golden tether of the soul strand will be strong and not be harmed. Guardians will be set aside next to your body so that we can take you to higher places of exploring. As a gratitude and thank you for your services on this planet. And you will also have more encounters with elemental beings. You call them fairies. To open your heart further to more gentleness and softness in your being. And to co-communicate with nature they will help you to do so. And again, like a few meetings before, there are power animals ready to engage with you right now. It might be a totally different one than like last time, or the same, or several. Embrace your power animal now as it's appearing and coming towards you. You can ask, what is your gift for me today? What quality of you should I embrace in me? Merge with your power animal if possible.
slowly and gently come back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to feel your body, to feel your lungs, to feel your physical form, to feel your arms and legs. Slowly and steadily. Feel your existence in time and space. in physical form. Take your time to come back to your body fully grounded until we meet again.